Okay, so this is the beginning of the equilibrium chapter. We're just going to do the first two sections. So this one's pretty short. Um, so what is equilibrium? Because I mentioned that in the last um, lecture, and that's that some reactions can go forward and backward. Um, and at some point, they reach what's called an equilibrium. Uh, this is called a dynamic equilibrium. Dynamic meaning it's constantly moving. Um, so what actually what happens at equilibrium for a reversible reaction um, is when both the reactants and the products reach what's called a steady state. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna define this as. Both R and P reactants and products reach what's called a steady state. And actually what that means is the concentrations of the forward and the reverse reaction stop changing, um, but the reactions are still happening. So you're still having forward reactions, you're still having reverse reactions, it's just that they've studied out and now the concentrations have stopped changing. So forward and reverse reactions happen, but concentrations are constant. Okay, that's when you know you've reached equilibrium. So at equilibrium, uh, the forward and the reverse are still happening, but the reason that the concentrations don't change is because at equilibrium, the rate of the forward equals the rate of the reverse. And I talked about this in the last um, video. If you're at equilibrium, the rates are exactly the same. And you can kind of see that for this reaction in this graph. Um, they, they change how fast they're happening until they study out and they're actually at the same rate, not necessarily the same concentration, but they're at the same rate maybe different concentrations. So the concentrations stop changing. Um, so an analogy for this is like a tug of war, right? At some point, you're both pulling still, um, but it's not moving because you are at equilibrium. So we might be over here, we might be over here. Re forward and reverse reactions are happening, just not changing because you're at equilibrium, okay? Um, now, again, that does not mean that the concentrations are the same. Uh, tug of war analogy that doesn't mean that one team isn't stronger than the other one probably is stronger it's just that it's not moving anymore so not the same concentrations just the same rate okay they can all have different concentrations so um, I have a little simulation here that I want to share with you okay so uh, this is a simulation what I'm going to do is I'm going to put um, I don't know like 50 A's into a reaction and see what happens Okay, oh, no, that's not what I meant to do, 50. Um, and essentially they're all colliding and colliding and colliding and sometimes they're gonna turn into products. It's kind of like it gets over the activation energy and now I'm getting products over here. Okay, if the activation energy is lower, which I don't think it'll let me change it right now, um, then I will, that will happen easier. If the activation energy is really high, then it's more difficult to turn into products. So they're constantly going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Okay, um, if you change the temperature, cause more collisions and you might cause them to react more or go more toward the, the products. Okay, um, if I throw a bunch more in there, they're going to react and then, oops, 700. And then they're eventually going to lead to equilibrium again, but everything is still always moving. They're still colliding. They're still making products. Um, it's just that at some point, the concentrations stop changing because the, the rate at which ones are turning into B is the same rate at which they're going back to turn into A. So if you want to play with this, um, you totally can. But if you change the um, activation energy, you can see what happens. You change the temperature, you can see what happens. Um, they're eventually going to not even out concentration wise but they're going to be changing at the same rate and I'm really not going to get much of a fluctuation in amounts. That's what equilibrium is. Okay, 